Oh, seven citizens, Black here from Castle Black Gaming, where I get right to the point with all of my guides so you can get back out into the verse. Today, I wanted to offer up a quick loadout for the Origin 400i, which I've been flying about the last week and a half. Now, to find out my honest, deep thoughts and opinions on the 400i, subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell so you can be alerted when that video drops later this week. And to just be notified whenever I drop a new review, loadout, or news tidbit. And so, with all of that out of the way, let's get Get to the loadout. So as usual, I take care of the ship components first, as they can, for many ships, be what truly makes these vehicles shine. And so for the shields, I went with the FR-86s, which are decent and hold up well against multiple attackers. And of course, you can find these shields at Area 18's Dumpers Depot. And so by the way, if you're not sure where the Dumpers Depot on Area 18 is located, I got you covered in a quick location guide, which I'll post a link to my guides at the end of this video, so it's there if you need it. Now moving on to the power plant, to which there are three on the ship you can upgrade, the JS-400, which can also be picked up at Dumpers Depot on Area 18, and that's what I went with. Now you don't have to go for all three of the power plants unless you just want to, and if you do not plan on doing any combat with this ship, you could skip upgrading these all together, as the boost and performance you would see would be for your weapon recharge times. Now if you plan on doing some combat, or a lot, I would go for for maybe one more and see how much of a boost it gives you on your laser repeaters as far as recharge time. These things are quite expensive, so one might be all you want to grab. Now if you grabbed all three and found it useful, let me know down in the comments as I simply just went with one. Anyway, moving on for the Quantum Drive, you can grab the Size 2 XL1, which will get you about the verse in fine fashion. And since getting about the verse is what this ship specializes in, it's probably the first thing I would grab. The coolers, to which there are three on the ship as well, are not needed until a component's revamp makes them worthwhile, so I would avoid them for now. Now these components are going to range in price depending on how many power plants you decided to pick up. None, one, two, or all three, so the very minimum you will need to spend will be 231,300 credits, and then an additional 53,000 for each power plant you pick up. Once a component revamp is done, you can easily look at spending over half a million credits to bring this ship up to snuff. So let's move on to the weapons. This ship comes with two gimbaled size 3 CF337 Panther laser repeaters that are great for this ship due to its lack of maneuverability. If you go up to the size 4s, you're not going to hit your targets as much, especially if they're smaller, faster craft. But if you insist on removing the Veriput gimbals and putting size 4s on, I suggest two of the CF447 Rhinos. Now if you have players manning the other turrets, this might work well for you. Now as for the other turrets, they come with four of the CF437 CF337 Panther 2s in each turret giving you a ton more firepower if you have two friends in the ships with you and the laser repeaters are what I would continue using. Now if you want to get something with a little more oomph that can take on larger ships a little better, you can swap those larger repeaters out with four of the FL-33 laser cannons instead. Again, many people do not use this as a hardcore bounty ship, more for defense, so I doubt most will need to make this swap, but it's an option if you intend on doing more bounties. So as for the missiles, you cannot swap out the missile rack, so you're stuck with the 32 missiles, which are made up of 16 size 1s and 16 size 2s that come on the ship, which is a nice payload for a yacht. The size 1 electromagnetic pioneer 1s and size 2 dominator 2s are currently the missile type that find their target the most until a missile and combat revamp is done, so swapping these over to those will keep your enemies on their toes more and be less likely evaded. And so that's going to do it for this ship loadout for the Origin 400i. I hope I was able to get you on the right track and set up. Depending on how you use this ship will depend on if you almost take it as is or go all in. I also wanted to apologize for re-uploading this video. I had missed a very important part of the missiles, which is why I re-uploaded it. Anyway, remember to be kind to your fellow gamer, offer up good advice to those in need, and stay positive citizens.